Denver Nuggets selected Chris Harris of yeah. Fresno State. Chris Heron, his courage, humility, and perseverance is remarkable, and he has a gift, and that gift is to help people, and that is why he's here today. Please give a warm welcome to my good friend, Chris Heron. For the last 10 years, I've dedicated most of my life traveling all across this country, sharing my story. And over the last 10 years as a public speaker, I've been very blessed to walk into rooms and present in front of groups such as the NFL, the NBA, Major League Baseball, college, institutions, prisons, and TEDx talks. But for the last 10 years, I've had the responsibility of telling my story in front of almost 2 million children. And I truly believe in my heart that it's made a difference for some. I do this because when it comes to addiction, when it comes to alcoholism, I think we've gone horribly wrong with the way we present it to our children. I think we've, we put way too much focus on the worst day and we forget the first day. I think we've settled to show you pictures of drug addicts, to show you how horrible it looks in the end, rather than sitting you down, looking you in the eye and asking you honestly, why in the world would you let this begin? I started drinking at 13 years old. Unfortunately, alcoholism has impacted my family. My father's mill lights, I understood as a boy, was disrupting our household. And unfortunately, just like my father, I started drinking his mill lights. From that, smoking marijuana, and at 18 years old, I walked into my dorm room at Boston College and I promised myself I'd do a drug just one time. Cocaine, that one time, took me 14 years to walk away from. And that one time, got me kicked out of college four months later and followed me across country where it eventually landed me in a treatment center while I was playing basketball at Fresno State University for a major cocaine addiction at 21 years old. At 23, I was introduced to painkillers, Oxycontin. Oxycontin led me down a road I never expected. That pill, 40 milligrams, turned to 1,600 milligrams a day. And that $20 turned to $25,000 a month drug habit. And I had no idea that that little pill in the palm of my hand that day that I took on the front porch while my son was sitting watching cartoons 10 feet away from me, that pill would turn into a needle, which was filled with heroin. And that needle would stay in my arm for seven years. I've been sober for 12 years. And one of the most common questions kids ask me, do you ever want to get drunk? Do you have days that you think about getting high? And my answer has never changed. The first time I was asked that question, my answer was only on the days I don't want to be me. Being me and that struggle within has always been there. And that struggle will never leave me. Struggling with being me was always the issue. The issue that I was always afraid to talk about. My goal here is that there's one of you in this room right now that has a coach, a friend, an administrator, a teacher that you trust and that they want to help you. 
and one of you will walk out of this presentation, pull them to the side and say, I'm not the kid I pretend to be. I want to feel better about myself. As much as I've struggled in my life, my struggle didn't stop until I started sharing it. My struggle didn't end until I started talking about it.